Hello viewers. In today's video, we will learn about PLSQL block types in Oracle database. A PLSQL block consists of four sections. Declare. An optional declarative section that can contain variables, cursor, user-defined exceptions. Begin. A mandatory executable section that can contain SQL and PLSQL statements. Exception. An optional handling section that contains actions to perform when exceptions occur. In a record section. Now I will talk about the sections in more details. Declarative. It is the first section of a PLSQL block. The declarative section begins with the declare keyword and ends when the executable section starts. Contains declarations of all variables, constants, cursor, and user-defined exceptions that are referenced in the executable and exception sections. Begin. The executable sections begin with the keyword begin. The section needs to have at least one statement. The executable sections of a PLSQL block can include any number of PLSQL blocks contains SQL statements to retrieve data from the database, contains PLSQL statement to manipulate data in the block. Exception Handling The exception section is nested within the executable section. The section begins with the keyword exception. End The last section of the PLSQL block all PLSQL blocks must conclude with an in statement. The in statement is terminated with a semicolon. There are two types of blocks in PLSQL. They are anonymous blocks subprograms. Anonymous blocks are unnamed blocks subprograms. They are named PLSQL blocks that are stored in the database. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.